Your purpose has to be clear in your mind. That's the ultimate purpose, no? It's very important when we are trying to have a focused conversation that we are clear what is the purpose, right? We have to be prepared. What is the purpose needs to be clear. For example, if you are going to talk to your boss, that's also a conversation. What is the purpose? After speaking to your boss, what is the result that you want? Let's say Tarinda wants to speak to his boss to ask for one week's leave. So, purpose is, I have to somehow get the one week's leave. Somebody else needs to talk to the customer to ask for a one week's extension of a project. So, the purpose is, I have to get the one week's extension. That's the purpose. End result is, I need to get that. I need to get the approval for that one week's extension. Okay, that we need to redo a batch of biscuits because the quality was bad. <laughs> you have to now go and convince the marketing guys to say, marketing campaign nega bondak namat tanna because tama biscuit nega ready ne. <laughs> so then the purpose, that's the purpose. We need to have a, what is called a one sentence purpose. If you can put your purpose into one sentence, it means the purpose is like a laser, it's very focused, it's very clear. Now, we were practicing how to convince someone about your hobby. Why are we doing the hobby? Because that's a general thing. We have different people from different organizations here. Otherwise, if let's say Indica starts talking about solid tires, the rest of the people in the group may not understand what this is. <laughs> so, therefore, we have to talk about something general, which people will be able to relate to. But whatever we are discussing here, you should be able to take this same context, the same content and go and use it to deliver a message about your technical area as well. You should, should be possible, right? Even a research subject, whatever it is, it's the same, same structure, same framework, same way of doing it. So, can you, can you think of what you are trying to convince people of? Then it's the hobby, you no? Know? Right? Somebody is trying to convince, okay, I want, I want to uh, get other people to play the guitar and sing like me. And somebody else says, I want to, you know, get people to read books. I want to play cricket. Like that, right? So, can you write one sentence? What is the purpose? Now, today's, today's uh, whatever you are going to uh, uh, talk about in the afternoon today, what is the purpose? Write it, write one sentence. What is the purpose? To convince the importance of collecting stamps as a hobby. To convince the importance of collecting stamps as a hobby. How many of you think that's a good purpose? Is that the ultimate purpose? To convince the importance of collecting stamps as a hobby. Is it a good purpose or not? No. Why? What's, what's wrong with that? But I... What's wrong? It's very good, right? To convince the importance of collecting stamps as a hobby. Measure the target audience in the purpose. Whom you are going to convince? Uh, the target audience doesn't have to be included in the purpose because she knows who the target audience is. We could think that way, but that's a, that's a good point. We might want to include target audience. So then it will be to convince my fellow participants of flair to fluency, of the importance of collecting stamps as a hobby. Is it okay then? That's the last step. She is convincing the importance of collecting stamps as a hobby. It's like she went almost home, almost home, but she didn't open the gate. Get there a longer time ago, but you didn't go in. So, you'll have to sleep on the road and <laughs> go into the house. So, what should we say? Not to convince the importance, to convince my fellow participants to collect stamps as a hobby. Yes, that's the ultimate purpose now. You want to get them all to do your hobby, right? To convince them to collect stamps as a hobby. Are you all understanding the difference? 
not to convince the importance of collecting stamps. A, the importance of collecting stamps, you will have to say, tell them in your talk, so that they achieve the purpose, you achieve your purpose, which is, finally all of them should, be, should say, right, 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 Rupreksha, today I will go home and get stamps and start collecting. That should be the result, to gather knowledge of current affairs, to convince them to gather knowledge of current affairs and update, update themselves, good. Then Upeksha ke maata kaise ne? Upeksha said that she wants to convince others to collect stamps. Then yaage yaage hobby ke villa stamp stamp collecting. Yaage purpose se ke villa ogalang ma komari convince karan na komari polavan na ogalangut mudder ekato karan. Mudder ekato kiri me asa va ethi karan na ogalang. So asa vitrak ne ve asa va ethi karla ogi thele gila mukut kare netta purpose se ke istal ana. So, Asa Vatikala, it was a Kalani, Tan Kalani, Kalani, Komari convinced when Karanone, Mama Adinda Mudda Eka to Karuna. Eka purpose again. Purpose again, Armuna. Tamange, Taman then Katagan on a music gun. Sindu Taman Sindu and the Kamati Kelekina cut it. Tamanga Armuna got the Anita Kiandone, Komari, Tintaga, Tintaga, and Sindu Kihanimine. Cricket with rival. So, Jindari and Nana cricket at the Dal Magi Sinduan Eka Yagarabun to jog in as a hobby to convince my team members to go jogging, right? So, you if, if you are really good at convincing other program, you are well, come on and get there and the car again, jog again. Convince the team to try playing different musical instruments, right? So, are we clear? Your purpose has to be clear in your mind. Purpose is not clear now. You won't get your message across in a clear way. Purpose has to be clear. 